Welcome, Guardians. Yes, after literal years of player requests, the moment has finally arrived. With the launch of the Lightfall expansion, Destiny 2 now has in-game loadouts. While there are certainly improvements to be made to the system, which we'll cover in a minute, in large part, this is a massive positive step forward for the game and provides all players a great resource inside of the game to better manage weapons and gear as they move through the different maps and modes of Destiny. So let's dive in and take a look at how loadouts work in the game. The first question I had when booting up Lightfall for the first time and itching to get into the loadout screen was, where the heck does it even live? You can get to the loadout menu from your character screen where you'll notice this little icon on the left side of your screen. On PC, you can hit the left arrow key. I'm not sure what the controller equivalent is, but you can also just click the icon as well on your preferred input device. This pulls open a simple overlay menu that shows you any existing save loadouts you have, including the weapons, armor, and mods for both, along with a plus icon if you have any available slot to create another loadout. You may also notice some of the locked loadout slots. You can unlock these by completing one of the um, Guardian rank objectives for rank seven under the Lost Sectors tab. If you complete this flawless solo and legendary Guardian rank objective, that will unlock the final four loadout slots for uh, your character. So let's take a look at what our options are in the actual loadout screen. Um, as we covered, you can see any of your existing loadouts um, but you can also create new loadouts. So to create one, you first want to make sure that you have all of the gear and mods and everything equipped that you want as a part of that loadout on your character. And then once you've confirmed that, you can head over here and hit the plus icon to save that as a loadout. And it will save immediately. So the, the one I have equipped here is this uh, solar loadout for my hunter. And you can see that I get a, a brief preview here to show me exactly what is saved in that loadout. When you save one, you get the option to change the loadout name among a series of predetermined options. More on that later. You can also select from a list of icons and colors as well to help you organize or easily identify what loadout is for what purpose. If you ever need to update that existing loadout, you can do that as you did before and equip any new mods or gear that you want to have be part of that new loadout. Come back to your loadout menu, hover over the existing loadout, and as you can see in the lower right hand corner of the menu, I have the option to hold F to override that loadout. To equip a loadout, it's as easy as clicking it. Just like that. And the entire loadout will apply to your guardian immediately. Once you have a loadout created, you can also get a full preview of that loadout to see the aspects and fragments applied to your subclass, what super you're using, as well as a full preview of that loadout um, regarding all the armor and mods that you have selected as well. So you get a nice readout of all the actual mod names uh, for your armor, as well as for any weapons that you have equipped as well. This is really great because with the in-game loadout option is that you can equip a loadout while in activity. So if you noticed here, as I'm like equipping different loadouts and things, you can see I've got a Assassin's Call arc build, got a new strand build for the new subclass kind of fleshed out with Star Eater scales for my hunter. I'm doing all this while I'm in the Cosmodrome, while I'm on patrol, which is something that for those familiar with uh, Destiny Item Manager and their loadout system, it's not something you can currently do. And as you can see as well, the change when equipping new loadouts is immediate. I can cycle between these and everything is getting changed immediately. Everything from the fashion to all the armor and mods that are set up in these loadouts, it's all happening instantaneously. And I'm, I'm thinking of some really cool synergies that this can have in something like a PVE raid encounter. You might want to focus um, for a lot of the encounter on generating orbs of power and or ammo for you and your fire team. You could set up a loadout with all the necessary mods to do that, and then right before a DPS phase, swap to another loadout that utilizes um, weapon surges and other damage buffing mods, and then swap back again for the next round. 
And since the swapping is instantaneous and you can now do it in activity, you have no downtime waiting for things to update and no need to go back to orbit or to the helm to apply any of this. As I mentioned before though, there are a few requests I would have to improve upon this system. The first, as I mentioned earlier, is to allow custom names for loadouts. This mostly comes from the fact that you can have custom name loadouts already in Destiny Item Manager today. And as an avid user of that loadout system, I often find I create multiple loadouts utilizing you know, the same subclass with similar gear or exotics. And it may be hard to tell in game by just looking at these icons, what loadout is for what purpose. So obviously you can still preview things and get an idea of, you know, hey, I think I built this loadout for this particular thing. But sometimes it's nice to go into more detail rather than what they have currently in the names available for these um, for these loadouts. So you can see here in something like this, if I start swapping the name, you get some general name options for the subclass, for basic, you know, for basic activity names like raids and dungeons, trials, nightfall, and then just a general list of alpha, beta, gamma, delta, epsilon. So, you know, they, they tried to cover some of their bases here to just help, you know, help users identify what loadout is for what, but sometimes you want some more detail other than what is currently provided today. The second request I would have is the ability to actually delete a loadout. This was an odd miss to me on version one of this system. As we went over, you have the option to create and override a loadout, but no option to flat out delete one. Kind of an odd decision, but hopefully a feature that will soon uh, come to the system. Third, I would love to have a way to, to create armor only or weapon only loadouts. Again, this felt like an odd miss for the team, considering in most cases, my my dim loadouts are armor only focused. As long as I know that I have the right armor and mods to get the stats I want, the weapons I might use remain fairly fluid in most cases. Currently with the in-game loadout system, it saves everything together. So be prepared to have your weapons swapped as well when applying different loadouts. So you can see here that it is showing armor and weapons for each of these loadouts. Um, some of the items that were previously saved here um, on this arc loadout for my hunter were those um, those weapons were dismantled. So right now that's kind of a workaround for getting to an armor only loadout. If you want to like fill your weapon slots with blue gear that you're about to delete or infuse or something, you could do that. So save your loadout with all blues and then get rid of those blues somehow. Um, and then that way you're essentially left with that item cannot be found screen where it's not going to apply anything for that slot. So that's currently kind of the workaround, but hopefully Bungie will just, you know, develop a way to make that part of the system itself. Next request is a feature that I like with dim loadouts is to be able to choose whether to save fashion to a loadout or, loadout or not. It's pretty simple, but that would be a great addition to the in-game system as well. Currently by default, fashion is saved as you saw from like swapping to these different loadouts. It's remembering the fashion of all the armor I had saved uh, when I created these. So it's currently defaulted to save fashion, which in most cases is probably okay. But sometimes you may just wanna you know leave it as is and you're not really concerned about that. Uh, and finally, maybe let's bump those numbers up. I'm gonna bump those numbers up. Those are rookie numbers in this racket. 10 loadouts total for a character feels okay but the 20 plus dim loadouts for my hunter are cringing because they know some of them are going to be on the chopping block if i try and transfer over to this system entirely overall this system is fantastic addition to the game and i feel like my recommendations for improvement are probably already on the team's radar moving forward uh, i'm looking forward to seeing how the system improves and I'm excited to see how you Guardians take advantage of hot swapping and uh, any other kind of unique synergies with the in-game loadouts. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. Please consider giving it a like and subscribe to my channel for more Destiny 2 content. If you want to join in on the fun live, I also stream over on Twitch every week. The link to my channel is down below in the video description. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you all next time.